Rolling. <coughs> you gonna bring us in? You under danger? Nah, I'm good. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Star and Leah here, and in today's video, I have a guest for you all. This is my boyfriend, Stefan, and I decided that it would be fun to do a Q&A video with him. See how well he knows me. Yeah, I know. You ready? I did, yeah, go ahead. You know I got this. All I'm right. a wonder. That's what I do. So we're gonna go ahead and get this video started, so the intro won't be too long. So let's jump into it. First question is. Hold on, wait a minute. These things gonna be hard. Like, it ain't. It can't be no John. Like, all right, what happened the date of August first, two thousand and sixteen, at three p.m. Like, all right, because I ain't be patient thing. because we haven't even got to the first question yet. You already shaking up nervous. No, I ain't nervous. I mean, I know it. I'm just saying, but I just feel like that would be old D to ask. But go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, so when did we meet? When did we meet? Oh, all right, so. It depends on what you're saying. Like, we met in fifth grade. Okay. When was elementary? Can I say that? Can I just close them? Okay. Yeah, we met in fifth grade. Um, and when was elementary? So, I was going to an elementary school about, what, maybe 20 miles away at first? Um, from like kindergarten to fourth grade, I was going to Westbury T, which was in Lewiston. Y'all probably don't know what any of these places are, but. Anyway, we're like 20 miles apart. My mom was a secretary at the elementary school that she was going to, so I decided to start hitching rides with my mom because I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I gotta keep taking buses and stuff. So I rode my mom like my last year, elementary school, fifth grade, yeah. So, I mean, you know what I'm saying? We, <laughs> I just saw one time, like, I can't remember at that time, like, I didn't ask for your number back then, but I guess, can I like? No. <laughs> I, can, I can't do that. No. So why are you asking me? Because <laughs> I know where you're going with it. So why are you asking me? Like, <laughs> because. All right, fast forward. Fast, fast forward. You can't put anybody. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, fact. So we wound up getting her number. I had a Motorola Crazy. That's how long ago this was. I had a Motorola Crazy. Um, when I'm talking to her, somehow, I don't know, like, I guess it faded out because I, I lost my Motorola Crazy. I lost my phone, so why not lose the contact with her? Going up until like middle school, like I said, it was fifth grade, going up to like middle school. Um, you know what I'm saying? She was always dating somebody, so I could never like really, I could never really like holler at her like the way I wanted to. She was always dating somebody, so going up to sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade, ninth grade, tenth grade. One up in eleventh grade, um, cause we were in all the same classes like all them years. But like I said. We just like good friends because I can never really get on that kind of level because like I said, you got to be respectful of relationships, you feel me? So I waited and I waited until like 11th grade, some stuff ain't work out with her other relationships, so what? Can I not say that either? <laughs> you can say that, but we got to go to that point where you said I'm all, I was always dating somebody. I was not always dating somebody. That was not true. Sixth grade. I was dating not somebody. <laughs> Seventh grade. Dating somebody. Eighth grade. No, I was Who, not. What? I had moments where I was not talking to anybody. Look, at, I can at just first go and off foremost, of I'm not for sure how he would know all the times that I was talking to somebody because I don't sometimes I talk to people and I never told anyone. So I don't that was what was going on in his mind. He probably felt like oh she probably talked to somebody. Come on, man. So Look, she was the prettiest thing at the school, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, you see her walking down the hallways with another fellow. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta imagine. You just got to. Anyway, go ahead. What are you about to say? I was not always walking down the hall with another fellow. I don't like the way you're making it sound. That don't sound good. Babe, it was middle school. Right. I forgive you. You cheated on me because we technically never broke up in fifth grade. I, I forgive you. No, we never were girlfriend and boyfriend in fifth grade. You just broke my little heart. Dang. Go ahead with your story. Anyway, so 
with it, you know what I'm saying? 11th grade, find out she was single, ready to mingle, you know what I'm saying? So, we were always sitting beside each other in high school because for some reason it was like in alphabetical order almost, not last name, like feel right there beside each other. So, I was never really like, cause I, I ain't, I was a little shy, you know what I'm saying? Cause it was kind of weird trying to just slide on her like the way I was doing it because so originally, what happened was on Snapchat, and she was like, "This was like on one of her stories or something." And she, can I say what happened? <laughs> Yo, you, <laughs> you gonna ask me this question? And like, okay, go ahead. It was, I, it was real corny. It I, was real I, I, ain't, I ain't gonna get into all that detail, man. <laughs> I ain't gonna go ahead. Go ahead. Nah, no, it's nah, not nah, people how look, corny look, you are. No, nah, nah, we gotta say some of that first. You know what I'm okay. saying? So anyway, she put something on Snapchat, and I, you know what I'm saying? I replied, you know what I'm saying? I'm a, you know what I'm saying? But after that, um, basically started talking. But in between that and that talking phase, can I say that? At least, all right. In between that little talking phase, um, still didn't get her number yet at this time. You know what I'm saying? This wasn't the number from fifth grade. Things changed. But at this time, like, we still on like the whole little Snapchat and all. Still sitting beside each other in class, too, because we had almost all the same class. But anyway, um, on Snapchat, talking to one another. I seen something that she put up there on Instagram, I think, which led me to assume that she ain't gonna talk to me no more. Cause it was something, I can't remember the exact thing, but it was something that was like, ah oh, man, something, something about dudes that I can't trust, I can't do something. And I was like, oh, mm, he's all back. So I feel bad. Wanna again, can I at least drop his name? my boy. All right, so her cousin, one of my best friends, Nigel, she wound up hitting him up or talking to him. Was like, yo, what's up with your boy? Why he ain't like responding? Why he ain't talking to me? So now I just wound up talking to me, let me know everything was sweet, everything you know, like none of that stuff was intended for me. So of course, you know what I'm saying? I hopped back on that train and got started rolling through there. Wanted to get her number. And you no, know, I'm just saying how we met. How I get all the way over here? Cause now I'm about to get how we actually started dating. I tell you the whole story and that thing is just ticking. <laughs> so you want me to stop? I mean, you can be. I mean, basically, wanted to get her number like that. Um. Now, from real, I'm just saying, like, we knew each other for a minute, so I'm like, all right, what, what you trying to do? Like, I'm trying to make this more than just a talking thing, you know what I'm saying? And she's talking about some, I gotta get to know you a little more. I'm like, yo, we've been knowing each other since fifth grade. I was like, okay. But she was like, no, not on that level yet. So, okay, so what we had in fifth grade didn't matter. I right, but, but anyway, um, gave it a little time, started talking some more, started connecting, started vibing, feeling it, loving it. Um, told her to meet me in the hallway. So in our high school, like it's kind of like a perpendicular line. Yeah, a little intersection <laughs> in high school. We call it the quad because it's the way that all four stops meet. You know, you got this hallway connected to that one, this hallway connected to that one. Right there is the little quad. So told her to meet by that in the quad. Told her what was up, like how I was trying to do it. Like you know, what I'm saying I want to make this more than what it is. I want to. I basically told her like I want her to be my girlfriend and. Obviously, she was feeling it, so here we are. Well, honestly, I couldn't say no if I wanted to. And I think that's why he did that. So instead of him texting or calling and asking, he asked me face to face. So it was like, even if I wanted to say no, I couldn't say no. You had a choice. <laughs> I couldn't. I'm going to go like, I mean, it was going to be sad, but I'm going to like hurt myself and then like, oh, that was cool. I wasn't going to say no though, but just saying that if I wanted to say no, it would have been hard because he was just like... So you don't know how to reject people in that face? I want to be more than friends. Hold up, you don't know how to reject people in that face? I do. But it's hard. <laughs> so I'm a fool. <laughs> no. So this whole time we together? Alright, go ahead. ahead. Alright. Second question. Did I, did I answer that right? Because it's like a... Yes. Oh, okay. I thought point. you were actually gonna just um, be um, elementary. I didn't know you were gonna go like. I, I asked you like, you want me to? Cause I can talk. I can go to it. All right. I, so, what was your first impression of me? First impression in fifth grade. She had a little micro braids. I was like, oh, that's the one. I had micro braids in fifth grade. Mm -hmm. I probably had kinky twists. Look, that's all the same. It's, it's, it's all the same. same. Fellas, fellas, <laughs> fellas. What's the difference between? Kinky twist and micro braids. Micro twist and kinky braids. What's the difference? So, all my ladies that's watching this video, please drop a comment below explaining the difference. And I'm going to go ahead and tell, if guys are watching this, I'm going to tell you one difference. It takes longer to get micro braids than it takes to get kinky twist. 
So we'll just settle this in the comments because it's a difference. Is that the only difference? No. But the same hairstyle? Uh, Kinky too. twist is a twist and a micro braid is a braid. Three strands versus two strands. Look, she had them little hairs in her head and I said that's the one. <laughs> So, why not get her number? And uh, evidently, she wanted me to disclose all of that stuff. But why not get her number? Because she was looking fly. Even if it feels great, I get to you. You were looking real good. I didn't, don't care for him to disclose the information. It's just that other people are involved. And I don't really know if they want to be like disclosed in the video. So, for confidentiality purposes. So, so what was it you just said that I just look good? That's it. Hey, I mean, I ain't know much about you. Like at that moment, it was like, oh wow, she looked real good. That's it. Th at that moment, yes. Okay, so. Then I got to know you. I'm like, oh wow. That's the one. They're the one. No, I just look good. That's it. I mean, that's the I, I ain't had nothing else going on. I'll just look good. I mean, you ahead of the class and everything, too. At that moment, I didn't know that based off of first sight. Like I said, I'm like my first day at that school. I ain't looking at nobody on a roll list and say, oh, okay, this that same girl. I don't feel great. Good. Well, I do remember in fifth grade, he, um, <laughs> since he wanted to bring grades and stuff, so in fifth grade, Stefan, I think it was his reading benchmark, he got a, it wasn't a reading, it was math, well, his math benchmark, he got a perfect score. I do remember that. So great. <laughs> it don't matter. <laughs> it but I appreciate you recognizing who I was, you know. That means a lot to me. My well, little fifth grade heart still got a little plus. Uh -huh. I do remember it like Stefan oh, used to wear he used to wear his um pants like super high. Super high. Like Yeah. I ain't gonna comment on that. You trying yeah. to disrespect me. I'm not. But that I, was it's something you like. He, okay, so he used to be like a Okay, people probably thought I was a nerd, but he was really like a whole bookworm nerd person. I'm say, you saw, I'm owning my stuff. <laughs> nerd 2019, where we at? No, I'm just playing. <laughs> okay, so where was our first date? First date was to the movies, we saw Taken 3. That's pretty good. Where we go to eat? <laughs> we, we went to Walmart and we went to go get some pretzels. We ate D. After the pretzels? Yeah, after the taking three um, movies, we did go to Walmart and you, we did get pretzels from Auntie Anne's and then we, I got something to eat. It won't get better. So you had me at first half. No, all right, it won't get back. It won't chilies. Dang, what we eat? Hold on, let me keep. Is it some place that we still eat at today? Like, do we? Well, technically, we don't really eat at a lot of places today because we don't eat meat, so. I mean, you got some meat. I'll, tell, I'll give you a hint. I had got a cheesesteak. It won't earn it. By the way, we had a veggie soup for Ernie's today, and it was. Hold on, I, I can't even do it right. <laughs> it was really good. Oh, uh, you had a cheese steak. We didn't go all the way back to ones. <laughs> you want me to tell you? No, nah, hold on, hold on, wait a minute. You get a cheese steak. Kit Bat Jacks. It was not Kit Bat Jacks. I don't even know if Kit Bat Jacks was open over here when we had our first You day. might be right. You got a cheese steak in Greenville, North Carolina. I can say that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I go to ECU. They in Greenville, North Carolina. You got a cheese steak and it wasn't Ernie's and it wasn't Kid Bad Jack's. <gasps> no, it wasn't Cubby's either. Mm -mm. But we didn't start eating Cubby's until we got in college. What did it start with? Oh. Oh. It wasn't Olive Garden, it wasn't Outback. Can I just tell you? Nah, I'm just kidding, Oh man. my God. You can cut some of this stuff out, but make it look like that I know the answer. No. <laughs> Dang, <laughs> what is it? Here. What is it? Omar's, in the mall. You went to Omar's. I got it because I wanted a cheesesteak for Omar's. Dang. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know That's if you, good. I don't think you ate anything, but I got a cheesesteak for Omar's. You remember now? So how, I almost would know 
What you said? Where did we eat at? Where did we go no, to eat? No, I said where was our first date, and then you went in into going into Walmart and us getting props to Santi, and so I decided to throw in. Well, where where did we eat dinner? But I didn't well, eat did, there. Well, where did I eat dinner? Omar's. Okay, so what is my favorite thing to do? Record videos for YouTube. Another one. Read. Yeah. I'm a huge reader. I love books. And by the way, if you are reading some good books now or, or have read some good books, go ahead and drop them in the comment section below. I'm a huge reader. It's very relaxing. Love books. Do I get to ask you some questions about me? Cause I don't know I'm not finished yet. I'm just saying, like, do I? I mean, I mean, okay. I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, what is my pet peeve? Which one? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, me leaving my curls in the shower. Um, if I leave some dishes in the sink. Um, cutting across when you talking. Just did that while we were in the car, leaving early. It was when we left Best Buy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, it probably was oh, no. time. Being corrected. Yeah, I hate that. But my uh, my number one probably is the hair in the shower and then oh, so I got that it right. will send me over the edge. I cannot stand it. I think it's the most disgusting thing in the world. Uh, if you're gonna wash your hair in the shower, please get it up before what somebody else comes. You're not always me. washing my hair though. Oh, that was pet peeve number four on it. I what? cut across. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> nah. keeping that in there by the way. <laughs> but not nah, like when I. Sometimes like I don't even wash the cold out of my head. I just be showering and you know what I'm saying. Shedding for the men, the for the men, the men out there, you know what I'm saying. We we got hair, you know what I'm saying. It just so happened to fall off into my arms, all the yeah, hair. I got hair on my arms too, and I don't be shedding in the shower. Next question. Right. Um. <laughs> I guess this is something similar. What is something you do that irks me? <laughs> That's the same question. It's not. Oh, good well, I gave y'all my answer. I guess it kind of is. What was, what was the expected answer? I don't know. I have a lot of stuff there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'll just keep up with that one. What is my favorite ice cream? Neapolitan. And he hates it. Sometimes I hate it. It's just boring. Like, when you got so many options. Bro, you got cookies and cream. You got Rocky Road. You got. Uh, doggone butter pecan. How come every time you go to the store, you gotta get a new polish? I just think it's good. So it's like, I like the mixture. So I'm not a big fan of chocolate by itself, but once the chocolate meets the vanilla and the strawberry, it just packs a punch and it's just like really good. It's plain times three. Like, it's just straight up plain ice cream. New was probably the first ice cream I was introduced to. <laughs> It was at somebody's birthday party, one not it? One of them fat jugs in your heart. One of them good old cake. Sure. Yeah. Um, if I'm watching TV, what am I watching? You're either watching, well, you got a lot of shows you watch, but the main ones, How to Get Away with Murder, Scandal, anything by, um... Don't disrespect my girl like that. How to Get Away with Murder, Scandal, um, Grey's Anatomy. Oh, I can't think, I'm blanking on the name right now. Shonda Rhimes. Rhimes, there you go. Shonda Rhimes. Anything about Shonda Rhimes, definitely. If I could eat one food every day, what would it be? Fries, some type of potatoes. Yeah. Potatoes, any kind of way, boiled potato, uh, stewed potato. Is that the same thing? Kind of, yeah. Some baked potato, <laughs> fried potato, 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 potato juice, potato milk. Uh, Potato milk, that just don't sound good. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at your question. Last one. All right. How long have we been dating? Four years and some change. Uh-uh. We'll need to change part. I want the exact change. What oh, month we in right now? We in July. Can I just go ahead and assume that it's August 15th? Okay. All right, so it's August 15th. That means January. 16, 16, 17, 18, 19. Right, so that's four years. And then January, 
January to February, March, April, May, June, July, August, eight months. August 15th. I'm not for sure. I'm not for sure if you count January. Look, man, it's about to be five years. That's all I, I mean, you about. count like. It's about to be five years. Because from January 15th to February 15th is one month. So you would count February, March. So what do you think? I said four years and eight months or seven months. That's fine. All right. What is Oh, you did say you assumed that it's already August, so yeah. Four years and seven months. Almost five years. The best five years of my life. Yeah. So, if you want to answer, ask some questions, you can go ahead. See, I ain't had nothing prepared like she did. Well, this is very impromptu, so let me just try not to piggyback off of any questions you already asked. First kiss. Between you and I. <laughs> it was um it was outside by my car before chili and fresh. <laughs> Favorite music okay, that ain't fair. But any of the top ten <laughs> favorite musician. Um so abstract. Kendrick Lamar, J. Cole. Um, going in. I'm trying to figure out your top top people. Um, he likes Rep City. Um, let me see. Um, you up to a lot of music. Um, you went above and beyond. So yeah, I, I feel like I kind of got like the top top people. It was who's like uh, in your top three did I miss or did I get them all? See, that's the thing. It varies. That's why I just said, it would, you know, saying anybody that you probably know how to, that I like yep. would, would be fine. Okay. Um, what is that's just not fair either. But at least something to let you know that you pay attention. What's my favorite video game? Right now is because that changes. Right now it's the Marvel game that just came out for the Nintendo Switch. Um. I'm not Marvel. It's it got black in it. But it ain't black out, is it? Mm -mm, but that's close enough. Yeah. So but I wanna say that's my favorite. I said at, right at the moment, right, at the moment that's what you're playing. Um favorite game of all time. She was talking about Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, the Black Order. Mm-hmm. Do you really even have like a favorite favorite game? I have several. This is what I'm saying. So how would I pick? So I know you, you, he likes Injustice. Um, you like to play 2K sometimes, but I feel like you play your other games more, but you do play 2K. Um, you were playing Grand Theft Auto 5 the other day. Go ahead and tell me. You have a lot of games. Like it's What's, what's your favorite video game? My favorite video game is actually Mario. I love Mario Brothers. What video game did you play the most with your cousins and sisters? Okay, so we technically like the original Mario, but he likes Mario Kart. Right. Where'd that come from? I don't know. You know last time I played Mario Kart? Nah. So I was saying all that to say one of that was you can get one of my favorite games, because I do have a lot, it was kind of an unfair question, but a game that you told me that you used to play all the time. Okay, so the video cut off right then, probably just because it was a little lengthy, but we back in the game. So go ahead. But the the game is a game that you should play all the time with your cousins and your sisters. Um, uh, San Andreas. Yes. yes. That's one of my favorite. Yeah. But I mean that could have fell in the Grand Theft Auto. You said Grand Theft Auto Five, didn't you? I did, but I feel like it all falls together. Hmm. When you can say Liberty City Stories is the same Ooh. thing, you're going to have to follow five, but it's cool. Okay, you right, you it's right. Cool. Um, what's the last book I read all the way through? Do I even know? How you gonna ask me? What's the so last book I read all the way through? Probably, um, and I don't want to butcher his name, but Tana Hasi Coates, um, Letter to His Son. It was actually one after that. What color is it? Orange. About the little boy? 
<laughs> it is, isn't it? About a person, about a, a guy. Is he the alchemist? Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Ding, ding. That's it. Um, let me see. Mm -hmm. Our favorite go-to spot at the high school. We had several. So, I would say main one was probably Burger King. Yeah. I don't even know. I think it was just a hangout spot because nobody was really crazy over the food. But at the time, Burger King had like the 10 piece chicken nuggets for like a dollar and 49. And I love chicken fries. So I would get chicken fries. I hate, well, hated Burger King chicken nuggets because I don't eat meat no more. So, um, Buzz Barbecue. But that wasn't really like a hangout spot because they closed early. But we used yeah. to love going to Buzz Barbecue. And I don't know if they still have it at home because I haven't been back home in a minute, but it was this place called King Street Grill. Now, they had some banging like out the school type food. I wouldn't say it's like so dinner type food, but they had like chicken salad sandwiches and stuff like that. And it was really good. I love that place. I'm not for sure if it's like still open, but a lot of businesses back home have like a hard time like staying in business because the population is kind of small. So, and a lot of people back home don't necessarily eat out a lot as I would say people do in like bigger cities. You got it? Yeah. All right. Last one, I guess. I don't know if you're going to get those. This might be a hard one for. I'm pretty good, so no sweat. All right. You going to get it right? Go ahead. We gotta make this interesting. If you get it wrong, you wash my dishes for the next three days. Okay, and if I get it right, you have to eat one of your sister's meals. I'm a vegetarian though. You can eat the veggies. Okay, it all came from the earth. No sweat. <laughs> all right. Oh, the very, very first present I got you. Like for, it would definitely have to be a Christmas gift. He bought me a purple North Face raincoat. Eh. That is right. That was your that first Christmas right. present, yes, but I got you things before Christmas. But I said Christmas. I did. I said it was the very first thing I got you. So we started dating in January. So it'll be the next thing after January. <laughs> <laughs> you got me a card. talking about like it's something like oh my car is gonna mean that new <laughs> i'm not saying that but you made it seem like uh i mean a car is a give but i thought you were like referring to like an item and i didn't think he would be referring to a car because stefan gives me cards all the time so i thought he was i mean that's like a given i thought you wanted like in a z object or something so i feel like i still should get that question right no, but you have a chance to redeem yourself. Um, that stands still. You do my dishes for the next three days. No. But I guess we can get another one. What was I the... hate doing dishes. That's cool. Not for the next three days. So what's the last present I got you? Oh. Uh, As of today. He bought me a beautiful birthstone necklace for my birthday. That's, that's really nice. I did. That was the last thing I wanted. Was it? Okay, so now it's become evident that Stefan be asking questions that he don't even know the answer to. You, so I don't think that's fair. You want to ask me something? No, yourself? it's fine. You're just going to be it's your fine. own dishes and my dishes for the next three days. Because it's not right. We're like, on back like two minutes so y'all can see that deal anywhere where it said, nah, hold on. That don't make sense. What don't make sense? The fact All that... Alright, come, come up with a question. Come up with a question. And I guess it's for dishes. <laughs> I don't even want to tell you I'm going to get it right. I got this.
Okay, so how old was I or what grade was I in the first time I cut my hair? Tenth. That's wrong. Ninth. That's wrong. You do the dishes, first time but, you cut your hair? The first time I cut oh. my hair, you doing with some dishes, buddy. Because I was in middle school the first time I cut my hair. Dang, that's crazy. <laughs> no dishes. <laughs> doing this is so bad oh my god like i do anything i hate dishes like i rather clean the toilet clean the shower clean the bathroom what grade i you? hate washing dishes what? i was in seventh grade because you know in sixth grade i had longer hair and then once i got to seventh grade i had like a shorter haircut that was like right here and it actually could have been like in midway sixth grade but whether or not i was in um just the very first time but the second time Second time I was in 10th grade. That's correct. Yep, the second time I cut my hair. Oh, that was one of them times you were talking to one of the boys. <sighs> Steph, I'm be out here trying to make me seem like I used to talk to people all the time, but he had a whole slew of, um, slew of girls in his um, kick or kite, however y'all pronounce it, and then it K I K L. Cause crazy thing is me and Steph I were like friends. But he would never like want to be like friends, friends with me. And I didn't figure out why until like later, but <sighs> I used to see what be going on in that kid. Is that right? Yeah. I own my past. Do you own yours? I mean, obviously, it's on, it's out there. You have it on there since this video started. <laughs> I wasn't dating people all the time. Like, there have been times in my life when I was not dating somebody. Several ex. Well, it don't matter. Because she with me, and she stuck with me. Hey. That actually hurt. <laughs> <laughs> you just sounded off on my own earlier. You told me something that hurt. <laughs> Alright y'all, we're gonna end the video here. Thanks for tuning in. If you like videos like this, go ahead and give the thumbs up. And if you would like to see Stefan in some more videos, go ahead and drop a comment and I'll think about it. <laughs> see y'all in the next one.